The following is a selected video from yourteacher.com where you can browse over 450 complete math lessons with example videos, interactive practice problems, self-tests, and more. Try a complete lesson today at yourteacher.com. When you're asked to solve an inequality like negative 3x is less than 12, your goal should be the same as it was when solving equations. To get x by itself, on one side. In this problem, since x is being multiplied by negative 3 on the left side of the inequality, to get x by itself, we divide both sides by negative 3. But here's the rule you have to watch out for when solving inequalities. When you divide both sides of an inequality by a negative number, you must switch the direction of the inequality sign. So this less than in our original problem becomes greater than in our second step. On the left side, the negative 3 is cancel, and we're left with x. And on the right side, 12 divided by negative 3 is negative 4. So we have x is greater than negative 4. Our next task is to graph x is greater than negative 4 on a number line. And to do that, we start with an open dot at negative 4. The reason we use an open dot at negative 4 is that x is greater than negative 4, but it is not equal to negative 4. Next, we draw an arrow going to the right on our number line to represent all numbers greater than negative 4. Finally, we put our answer in what is called set notation, which is written in the following way. The set of all x's such that x is greater than negative 4. And this is our final answer. All this means is that if we take any number greater than negative 4 and plug it back in for x in our original problem, we'll get a true statement. Try one. <laughs> 